Hello and welcome to my cheat engine tutorial on another no collision. This one here we're going to do with Cave Story because it's uh, it's an easy 2D side scrolling game. Uh, in the previous videos we did integrity check bypass to bypass uh, what would kind of be like an anti-cheat, uh, infinite ammo, god mode instant kill, and no collision. And in this one I'm just going to cover no collision in another game. Just to show the same method does work, you just kind of got to search for some different values. So let's start by loading the game up. We can attach Cheat Engine to it. We don't want to keep the same code. And that is really loud. still kind of loud but it's not unbearable now yeah so uh, let's just start a new game it only takes a couple seconds so you move around with your arrow keys you can jump with Z X and C don't really seem to do anything right now, but let's go over here and let's let's save, just so we don't need to watch that if we screw something up, crash the game, or die. So as in the third part, we want to find an easy value. We'll use our X axis because it's easy to walk left and right in here where we can't take any damage. So start by searching for a float, unknown value. Move to the right a bit, increase value, move to the right, increase, move to the left, decrease, and then a bunch of unchanged to the left, so looks like it's probably this one. So right off the bat we immediately get a static address, which is nice. We can then browse our memory region. The nice thing about getting a static address for a player, it means that every time we restart the game, we won't need to refine these values at all. We don't need to find a pointer first, which makes cheating in a game way easier. Search for a float. Oh, whoops, it's, there you go. Where was I? So it doesn't look like it's actually a float. Yeah, we're getting really weird values there. So it's possible they have a 4 byte and just keep track of it really weird. Yeah, it looks like every tiny bit you move just changes your 4 byte value. So go ahead, we can display that as a 4 byte decimal. Yeah, so you can see at right here, our left and right moves us if we jump. Next one moves. We can add that address is our Y. And somewhere near there, we should have the value 3 because we have our health. Um, mm -hmm. I could be blind, but I don't see it offhand. I think. Oh, right there. So that's 3 and 3. Let's add them both. Usually you'll have a health and you'll have a max health right beside each other or very close. So let's change that to six. Yeah, and immediately our health goes past the bar. So we know this is health. This in here is max health. And let's freeze that at 500. Because while we're testing, we don't even want to worry about getting hit. So, let's go through that door. Okay, so it's just a save through there. The little thing right there, uh, that's an enemy. It'll attack you if you touch it, deals damage to you. So we want to go to our health to find out what rights to it. Right now, nothing. And as soon as we get hit, you can see one instruction gets added. See, you get hit by these. 
Yeah, same thing. So there's one instruction for each time we get hit. So let's go ahead and we can show that in our disassembler. And let's knop it just to show you what happens if all we do is knop it. So we just don't lose our health, but we still take five damage and start flashing and it's kind of annoying. So let's replace that with the original code. And just like the previous time we did this, we're just going to break and trace. Step over, we'll see if 1,000 is enough, and we'll get hit. So it looks like it might have been, if we go to here, double click it, and it'll change where we're looking at in here, and this would be the call. So this jump not equal, looks like it goes down to there. So let's do a quick test, remember that's J N E. let's just change that to jump. And it looks like we can walk through enemy, through spikes. The enemy doesn't hurt us. So let's change that to back to a JNE. So the code's back to what it normally would be. And then we're gonna quickly do our auto assemble, AOB injection. And it's gonna generate an array of bytes, which will probably be seven five, where is it? Seven five one eight eight B four five FC. So it grabs those, it will overwrite them with a jump to a new area of code that we can modify again. And when this is active, all we want to do is change that to a jump. So we can add that to our cheat table. Keep that open. Shouldn't need this right now, shouldn't need that right now. And this will be no collision. So with it activated, we don't take damage. With it deactivated, we do. Well, we do, we take five damage each time. But with no collision on, jump right through it all. Now one problem that you can run into with these no collisions is that enemies also won't take damage because it'll be the same sort of same call for player or enemy. So all we're gonna do is quickly run through here. And we're gonna sneak past this sleeping guy. And we are gonna steal his gun. We need this so we can finally deal damage to enemies and then we'll know if they're able to die because if not we'll have to instead of jumping we'll have to do some checks for a structure like we did for the shared code hooking stuff we just need to make sure that the if it's the player jump if it's not then do a normal instruction so let's see what happens here there you go so you can use x to shoot and let's go ahead and first test it with the cheat off So you're able to shoot the enemies with the cheat off. Turn the cheat on. And you can see we do have some collision with him, but it doesn't do anything to us. And we can still kill him. So there's an easy no collision for another game. Uh, if anyone has any videos or any game recommendations they want me to check out, Feel free to add it in the comments, and if I have the game, or if it's free, I will check it out. Thanks, bye.